Hey guys, welcome back here to another episode of Coast to Be Studios or CB Studios. As you just saw there, I am actually starting work on the Mummy area. Um, this was one of my favorite rides at Universal Studios. I really, really loved it. I thought it was a great little coaster. Um, so I wanted to do my own version. I've used actually some like concept art pictures that I found on Google for the layout of the coaster. Um, so let me just talk about this ride a little bit. Uh, it is mostly um, like an indoor dark ride in the beginning and then obviously there's a launch and then it turns into a coaster in the dark. Now I wanted to try and do the actual dark ride section um, so that you can actually see what's inside. So I'm going to build the building around it and leave some gaps. And uh, this was really a challenge for me because I'm not very good at building dark rides. I definitely have my skills when it comes to building coaster layouts making stuff look realistic etc um, but when it comes to actually doing scenery and things on um, like a dark ride really struggle and I'm going to admit it so this was really a challenge for me so uh, I'm just going to show you the process today of kind of what I did so first of all as you can see I've got this red path built around the coaster that's actually the area that I gave myself to work in and um, I took a measurement from the actual park map and then transferred it over into a new sandbox um, as you know I've been saying in, in the past that um, Building like your stuff outside of your map actually really helps. Um, you don't feel so overwhelmed with everything in your map and um, it gives you a clear space to work in. So um, that was a really good idea that I did doing this one as well. So to start off with the dark red area, I'm actually just laying like a black piece of floor around the whole area where the kind of scenery and that will be. And um, this will kind of act as like the trough, so to speak, for the track. Um, as you can see there, I've also got like Gerslauer four across trains on it because I thought they would look Kind of the best for like the mummy ride but actually they were quite wide and started clipping stuff when trying to do scenery and things so i actually ended up using like the premier skyrocket trains which i think are really really good i think the coaster in real life is actually a premier as well so um i think the track i used the steel coaster which i think looks very premier like and then i just needed to find the right trains if somebody out there makes like a, a mine train slash archaeologist adventure type indiana jones style mod train then I'll definitely use it on this but um, I, res I resorted to using the um, premier trains which I think look uh, much better for this coaster so I've just put in the walls around that black part um, so it uh, kind of hides the whole kind of bottom bit and then I'm going to go ahead now and lay in like the floor of the actual um, dark ride scenes um, I didn't really know how to approach this I kind of just went ahead and kind of just like, I, like I've done so far is kind of laid out the um, floor area for the coaster and then um, I'm going to go in and break up this into sections and then take each room at a time really. I think when doing this the best way to do it is have some sort of a storyline in your head so you can really um, think about and know what you're building in each room. I'm not very good at that if I'm honest. I, I, I can't really use my imagination very well when it comes to stories and thinking about what to do um, on like a dark ride which is mainly why I don't really build them very often so like I said this was really a challenge um, but I just kind of just started building some Egyptian stuff and took it from there really. And the shame is that um, it's a shame that you don't actually really see everything that I build because I do cover it up with a roof and walls. Uh, like I said, I've left some gaps and I'll show you those gaps when I kind of get around to it. But um, yeah, I'm using the textured walls from the textured walls mod, um, which is really great uh, for using different kind of, like I said, textures. And um, I've used this one kind of brick wall here, which I think works out really, really well for this. I could have used like, the in-game walls from the DLC. But um, I like these a little bit better, although they are a little bit glitchy when you zoom out. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and just kind of start building some things. I knew that the beginning of the launch, um, I wanted to have like some sort of like an entrance with like, these um, pillars with some fire, etc. But I also wanted the train to actually stop and have like a little moment before it launched. And I actually used a method that was discovered by Johnny on Discord, where you set a little piece of um, LSM at like a small kind of launch speed and then you set a hold break after it for like which would you which you would normally use on like a dive coaster or something and then after that little small piece of hold break you have another lsm launch at your target speed and so therefore the train actually passes onto lsm stops in the hold break but you have to have it so the back of the train is actually in the first part of the lsm maybe i can do a tutorial for this if you guys are interested and then basically your train will actually sit there the, the first LSM will give it a kick, nudge into the main LSM and actually launch the train forward. So it's a really great way if you want to do like scenes where the train stops, etc. So uh, I did that on the launch. So um, there is like a moment where you stop 
Um, right now I'm just doing kind of like the very beginning. So I used like some different roof pieces, kind of make like a tight space, which I think is quite cool for the train to go into. Like you're going deep into like a, um, into like a pyramid or something. And inside I've put some like the sand with the jewels and some pillars and things and chests um, with some like treasures in, which I think is very typical, you know. Um, I have the Egyptian mods installed, which I think is kind of newish. Um, I quite like the, the, the mod set, it's quite nice. The pieces are really good, a little bit untextured, but definitely suit the Parkitect style. And I tried to use um, some pieces from it. I didn't want to use all of the pieces because I like to experiment with other pieces that are already in the game. But there's some really nice Egyptian wall art and stuff, so that was nice. I used those, and I love these little pillars as well that they, they had in the set, so I used those. Um, and then I just tried to kind of integrate that into everything else that I already um, knew that I was going to do, etc. So uh, I kind of wanted just to lay around lots of jewels, the coins and golden plates and baskets and different vases and stuff. Because um, I think that really um, is true to like the inside of a pyramid. And I uh, also wanted to get some like skeletons and things in there as well. I wanted to have like a fire scene as well. Um, so I'm going to kind of do this bit with the pillars. Have it as like the, the room catching on fire. And then you as an archaeologist in the train you have to escape from the fire and that's where you then go into the launch. So I've actually ridden the Mummy Ride in Universal Studios Florida. I haven't done the one in LA, um, so I can't really speak about that one. I know they're both slightly different, but um, I did actually really, really enjoy it. I thought it was a great ride. I loved the queue line. I thought the queue line was really good. It built atmosphere. Um, I loved all the kind of scenery that they had in that queue line. And then the actual ride was really cool. I loved the trains as well. The trains were themed, of course, and that really made it as well. And I just thought the coaster was really fun. It's not super, super thrilling. It's not like the most intense ride in the world. It's just really good fun. And um, I really enjoyed it. And I actually liked the little bit at the end when you actually stop in a room and you think it's the end. And then the um, bad guy turns up again and he's like, he's not over. And he catches the room on fire or sets the room on fire. And off you go again and you do a little bit more of the roller coaster before finally um, heading into the break run. I thought that was a really nice little touch. So I've added something like that into this as well, like, um, in the coaster layout. And um, I did leave a little opening as well at that section for you to be able to see. Although it's not got like crazy the like, amounts of theming and detail that I would normally maybe do, just because I do cover it up and I thought kind of, I don't want to put too much effort into stuff that I'm going to hide. Because I could sit here for hours and really build a storyline and put all these things in. I actually made an experiment a few years ago now on this game, way back before like there was mods and things really. There was like maybe a couple mods over on the Parkitect Nexus website, if any of you remember that. But basically I, I built some green walls in the game and then in video editing software, I actually could then put video onto those green walls and they would act as green screens. So that was like a really cool way of doing like um, having the train stop and watching a movie or something on the coaster. Um, of course, I don't really like using the POV in this game just because it ruins the charm and the look of the game and this is built to be isometric. Um, so if it was like another game and it had better, you know, like kind of coaster, maybe I could do more green screen kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I could have gone ahead and done something similar to that. But then it came, got me thinking that actually we have those um, image billboards in the game where you can select a picture and put anything into them. Now. I'm wondering whether you could actually put in like a mp4 clip or something or a video into one of those billboards and it would play that little clip on a loop maybe it's 30 seconds long or something and that way you could actually build in like screens into a dark ride and have actually like movies and things playing which I think is a really cool idea obviously not possible right now in the game but just an idea that I had while I was building this and I thought maybe I should bring that up in the video I thought it'd be quite cool so let me really know what you guys think of that idea and if it's something that you'd like to see in the game or something. So now I'm just kind of carrying on with the walls and things. As you can see, I've done quite a lot of the theming, added in the baskets and the coins and all the vases and stuff. Um, and now I'm just trying to figure out about the openings. So I want to have the openings obviously in areas where you, if you were to download the park, can see in and see all the little cool stuff. Um, so I'm just kind of figuring out how that's going to work. And then to cover up this, this is like the inner shell of the ride. And then there's going to be an outer shell. Now the outer shell is like obviously the show building. Um, I actually used the um, walls from Shy Guys 1 set to do the outer shell because they are double lined. One side is one color and the other side is the other. 
and I think that that's so perfect for a dark ride because obviously you can make the inside color black and the outside color whatever color you like um, so they worked out perfect otherwise you'd have to do double walls and have the walls maybe on the 8 grid and that could get a bit of a you know a bit annoying so I've gone ahead and used those um, I didn't catch everything on film just because as I've said a hundred times before I was having troubles with filming I've seemed to have fixed the problem now I think and so I've started filming little bits again now but I actually did a lot of work um, off camera and I also did some bits like I've, as you know from Discord if you're on there I built a Harry Potter section and all the footage that I took off that section I lost unfortunately because I did have to take my laptop into the store and have it reset etc and those bits I unfortunately lost so I don't have any footage of building like Hogwarts etc so I don't have much filming done but I do have a bit of the mummy done so at least I can show you that but um, yeah I'm just gonna finish that up now showing you kind of what I did with the dark ride section I'm gonna go ahead off camera and basically build a building around it and then uh, I'm just gonna take you into the map in a second um, and show you kind of what I came up with um, with this ride and show you um, the train kind of going through and how the openings work where you can see inside you know as my first kind of proper dark ride doing scenery it turned out not too bad I definitely think um, I could do better but then again I had it always in my head that I was going to cover most of that up anyway so maybe I've cut a few corners here and there but I think it looks not too bad so here it is actually in the park map now and as you can see I've added walls around the outside I used these walls from the pirate mod set which have these great broken pieces and I did that to do the openings so I think that looks really cool so you can see inside um, I've done that all around the front and then there's another room at the back which I'm not going to show you today um, but then yeah so we have the train just passing through here and I'll just try and show you the best I can through those little gaps kind of what I did uh, I think it's best if you actually download this map when I put it on the Steam Workshop to explore for yourselves but yeah it turned out not too bad I quite like it I'm not going to do this with the Harry Potter ride just because of you know everything game lag frame rate don't want to put too much into the park but at least I've tried a dark ride um, and I think it looks really really cool so thanks guys for watching give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and do not forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to be notified when I next upload and I'll see you all next time bye